now so today i'll be showing you guys how to make this sweetheart neckline uh, peplum top with a uh, puffy sleeve so the first thing you're going to do is measure around your bust and divide um add 12 inches to be the 12 inches is for our seam allowances plus um all the seam allowances you'll be needing for the whole top part and then if you add the 12 inches then you divide it by four so I've done that already and that's how I got the bodies here. So my bust measurement is 42 plus 12 inches and then I divided it by uh, 4. So I got 13.5. So that's why I have 13.5 on these folded bodies. And then on my back panel, if you check it, I have 13.5 and the fabric is also folded. right? So that's how I got the width here. So you see the two fabrics are folded. So now I'm going to place it on top of each other. And then the next thing you're going to do is to check your waist measurement and then you divide it by, um, you add 12 to it and also do the same thing, divide it by 4. So um, my waist measurement is 36 plus 12. So 36 plus 12, which is 48, divided by 4, that's uh, 12. So what you're going to do, so this is going to be the bottom of my dress. This is the top part. So I'm going to just subtract, uh, mark uh, the 12 here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to connect it all to this uh, top part here. So I'm just going to connect it straight up. So guys, since this is a sweetheart neckline, my top is starting at 7. So you have to measure on yourself. If you want it low, like showing cleavage, maybe you want it to come down to 8. Maybe you want it up to start at 6. So this is where I want mine to start at 7, right? So this, like, this is your shoulder and everything, right? Like we normally do here. So your shoulder, you want the top to start at 7 here. So that's why I placed it here. So I know that my top is starting here. So the next thing you're going to do for the armhole part here. Remember, you want to start at 7. So my armhole is 10. So I'm going to mark that 10 here. So this is where the 10 comes in here. And I'm going to come in by about 2 inches or like 2.5. I'm going to just come in by 2.5 inches and go up. So this here is going to be my armhole for this top, right? So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. So guys, now that I've cut it out, I'm going to separate one and use it as my back panel. So let's say I'm going to keep this one as my back panel. I'm just going to split it open at the center back here. And then I'm going to keep this one as my front panel. So all I have to do for this front one now is to check my nipple to nipple measurement, add two inches to it, and then and I divide it by two and then add one inch to it. So my nipple to nipple measurement, your breast point, um, divided by two and then add one. So my breast point is eight divided by two is four plus one, that's five. So I'm going to make sure that five fits in all the way here. So guys, you're going to fold the center part of this fabric this way. And the, fact, the part that you folded is not where you're going to mark. You're going to mark on the other end here, the part that is folded this way. So guys, this part that is folded here is where you're going to start marking. So on this part, you're going to place back your tape. You want your top to start at 7, right? So you're going to mark um, from your shoulder to... So the first thing you're going to mark is your shoulder to your breast point. For me, that's tough. And then your shoulder to your under bust. For me, that's uh, 14. It's normally like 2 inches after your breast point. So for me, that's 14. And then the next thing I'm going to mark is your shoulder to your waist. And my shoulder to waist here is... My shoulder to waist here is 17.5, right? So that's what I marked here. So remember, whatever length you want to use, you're going to add extra 1 inch to it. That's how you're going to get your length, right? So if you want your top to start at 7, then you know um, at from this 7, and then your shoulder to waist is 17, then you know you add 1 inch. So your total length is going to be like at this 18 point here, if that makes any sense. What I'm saying is, if you know your shoulder to um, where you want your top to start is 7, you're going to, and then you know your shoulder to your waist is 17. Remember to add extra one inch for your seam allowance of folding the top and the bottom. So that's what you're going to do. So the next thing here is to come in at, remember this is your shoulder to breast point, shoulder to under bust, and shoulder to waist. On, on your shoulder to waistline, you, you subtract half an inch. On your shoulder to your um, under bust line, you subtract 0 0.75. And then on your shoulder to um, a bust breast point, you don't subtract anything. You just go up to the top part of this, mark about one inch here, connect it down to this point here, 
right and then connect this one in here and then connect it down so you've connected the three lines here and then what you're going to do now is you're going to go in on this inner part here now you're going to go on this fold what you're going to do for this fold is just go down how much cleavage you want to show maybe you want to go down two inches or you can go back again and measure from your shoulder if you want it from the deep v at nine or ten it depends on you you just mark so i'm going to just make mine the v i want it to start at nine so that's like two inches down and then i'm going to just connect it this way and now all you have to do is just go ahead and cut this out so we've done this method several times so i think by now we all know how to use this method here so after that so guys now that i've cut the excess all you have to do is just to place this here so you see this is my center this is my two side here one side on this side and then sorry one side here and then the other side here right and this is the armhole for where i'm going to put in my sleeve so what you're going to do now is you're going to go ahead and trace out lining for all this piece and also for your back piece too so i'm going to go ahead and trace out lining for all of them and then the next thing you're going to do after that is to cut out your sleeve so guys this is what i'm using here for my sleeve right so my sleeve is going to be about 13 inches in total that's what I want to use for my sleeve. That's I measured on my arm. It's supposed to be off shoulder somewhere to here. That's about 13 inches in between. So what I did here is you're going to add 5 inches to it, right? And then you're going to add extra 2 inches. So in total, you added 8 inches to this. 5 inches is because it's puffy. And you want, because the puffiness, it takes up from the length. So, so you're going to add, the 5 inches is just for the puffiness because it takes up from the length. So that's why I added extra 5 inches and then I added extra 3 inches because you're going to need it to fold the end. About 1.5 to fold this end and 1.5 to fold this end. So in total, I added um, 8 inches to the 13 inches that I have. And that's why here I have about... So guys, that's it for the length. And then for the width, I'm using... For the width here, I'm using about... 15 inches of wheat here that's including my seam allowance it depends on how puffy you want your sleeve to be so i have 15 on one side so when i turn it around i'm going to have 30 in total that's including my seam allowance so what i'm going to do now is that side of my armhole i'm just going to see you see the side of my armhole i'm just going to take it and place it here right i'm going just to take and place it at the end of my sleeve and cut that out right but remember you're going to come down by 1.5 which is the 1.5 you left for making the loop for your elastic and then you're going to now cut the exact armhole right so guys this is what i'm saying here you see i left about 1.5 at the top of this is my sleeve the bigger fabric is my sleeve and then i took my body and placed on top of it but remember 1.5 that we added to that our 8 inches seam allowance that we added to the sleeve is for making loop for the elastic here so i'm just going to fold that 1.5 here and then so now i know that this is what i need exactly for my armhole so i'm just going to go ahead and cut this out here for the two sleeves right so, so guys after that the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to go to my um uh, sewing machine i'm going to fold this end here make the loop for my elastic fold the end also on the sleeve make loop for the elastic elastic and then cut out your lining you're going to cut out your lining for all this piece here the three piece in your front and then the two piece for the back so guys as you can see i've gone ahead and joined mine so basically what i did is after cutting my lining i cut the same three piece of the front three piece of the front of the pattern i cut it for the lining all you have to do is join the body of the dress together join the lining together and then you join everything at the top and then you notch it a little bit and then after that you go ahead and iron it so you see i've done one side of this here so the second side here all you have to do is you see my sleeve the way it is now so you have to finish up the body right before you start doing the sleeve so this is the body now on this side is done you see the armhole here i've gone ahead and folded my one and a half inch that i left so all you have to do now is to take this part here and then join it to this side and then you take the side for the back so this is going to be on this side of the back here so you put your the, this one you're going to join it here and then you're going to take the other one and join it here as you can see i made the loop for my elastic 
both at the top and at the bottom so when you're done all you have to do is from one loop you're going to pass your elastic all the way to the other loop here and then you're going to join it to this here just try to maybe you might want to just wear it and find how much elastic you would need so when you're done you attach the elastic here double stitch it and then at the other end the other end of the elastic you double stitch it at the back and close up the armhole so that's basically it for now so i'm going to go ahead and join mine before i come back and then put in my peplum because remember this part of the top is just from your shoulder to your waist which is for me which is 17.5 and then you now check how much you will need for the peplum part so guys i've gone ahead and joined the two sides together so now what we are going to do is to finish up the end so basically you're going to measure from your shoulder to your waist and then um you're going to measure your shoulder to waist and then your shoulder to the full length of the top and then you subtract your shoulder to waist from the full length of the top so that's how you're going to get your peplum so i'm using 10 inches for my peplum that's including my seam allowance so your whatever you got as the length of this peplum you're going to add 1.5 to it one inch for folding the end and half an inch for joining this part to the bottom here then if you want you can also line this use lining on this here so the next thing i'm going but i'm not going to be using lining on that i'm just using lining at the on the body but the peplum won't have any lining so what i like to do is at um at this point because i, I don't want the back to be bulky or lower so what i like to do is i i'll just come up by about one inch at the back here or um, 0.75 and just blend it in so that this will just be right so it, the placement will be right and it won't tamper with the zip because sometimes you find that the zip might be bulky when you're done so i like to just remove about one inch or 1.5 just blend it into the line it doesn't go to the front just blend it before you get to the side so i'm just going to do that and cut it out right so guys now that i've done it here what i'm going to do is go ahead and start putting my uh uh, peplum part if you want you can use two times your waist measurement whatever you want to use as the width but the length for me is 10 inches that's including my seam allowance so what i'm going to do now is you're going to go to your sewing machine for me i like to just put my peplum right as i'm sewing so all, all you have to do is you just split it one this way and then the next one will come facing you you see one is done then you move again this way and then the next one will come facing you you move again this way the next one will come so that's how you're going to get all the boxes for your pleat so i'm just going to put mine as i'm going all the way around and when i'm done i'm going to go ahead and put in my zip so guys this is it here it's done i've put in my peplum it's just for me to just iron it down and that's basically it so this is the back and then i've added my zip also so thank you guys so much for watching please like share and subscribe bye